Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady channel. You may have seen that one of my cryptocurrency holdings has been seeing a meteoric rise in value recently, and today in particular has been quite chaotic. Thanks to the cumulative effect of these increases, this currency is now my third most valuable holding, a position it was in only a few months ago. At this moment, however, it exists. To make a general point, this is the only reason I will bring it up at all. A lot of individuals have seen some very ridiculous things and have strong views regarding XRP, I also believe they will just stop talking. Without exception, if XRP takes off, everyone benefits, unless they're, you know, scam artists or anything of the like. Some people in the space are not good. Yes, things are looking up if we're talking about practical cryptocurrency. We know this to be true since it has been the case for over a decade. By the way, the coin I'm referring to is Flare, I'm not attempting to poke fun of it, but, a few months ago, the mood was completely negative, with the LIS tearing on this specific currency, and now those who were critical of it have vanished. The fact that the current price of a coin or project is the deciding factor for many simple minds as to its quality is simply hilarious. What a complete moron. What a lack of long-term thinking, XRP. Of any use? Obviously, it serves a purpose, thus the answer is yes. Indeed, flares are now going berserk. Because no trend is ever constant, I have no doubt that it will retrace to some extent. That is acceptable. Next up, however, is XRP. Something tells me there will be a coin toss somewhere in the middle. However, my point is that XRP will succeed if my investing thesis is true, after all, utility is key. And Bitcoin will reach a new all-time high if the whole asset class moves in the positive direction. XRP wouldn't surprise me if it doesn't. For kicks, I'd like to show you some of the responses I received when I shared this message. Because, you know, some folks just don't understand how percentages work, so we can continue this conversation. And there are always others who choose to be a little pessimistic. Negative views on Flair's value and feasibility in the long run, however, have vanished. Today, I was unable to locate one. These days, it's simply other people getting mad over other things. However, XRP is experiencing the exact same issue. Plus, once XRP is operational, it will change hands overnight. Everything negative, including animosity, depression, anxiety, and gloom, will go as quickly as a finger snap. I should have been more upfront about the fact that I do not have any kind of financial support before I showed you the details. Keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. Absolutely, without a doubt, do not let anything I say influence your purchasing or selling decisions. As a pastime, I like producing films on YouTube regarding cryptocurrency for fun. I'm simply an enthusiast. Oh, and for pure entertainment's sake. The current prices of XRP are just over 51 cents, Bitcoin is $42,844, and Flare. Everything you need is right here. At the moment, it is 3.2 cents. It is therefore ranked 59th. Once again, Mark. A few months ago, I can still remember exactly how high it got, but it was above 100. It's like it's happy to be at number 59 out of more than 20,000 coins in existence. However, I am unsure of the actual number, it may have been between 102 and 103. Plus, it's lightning quick. To clarify, this is just a 12-month chart of Litecoin for those of you who are staring at the screen. Pay attention. And that was the lowest point, as you can see, somewhere about the middle of October. October 18th was probably the technical low point. Okay, I'll admit it, Litecoin was making a splash on October 19th. That date is close enough. I purchased it for around 8 tenths of a penny, even though the closing price was 8.4 cents. 184 cents, or about 8 tenths of a penny. Plus, I did purchase Flare. I purchased it on October 19th, actually, just this second, and I've shared this article before. I wrote this piece because someone on the FIRE community account mentioned it, and I'll simply read it out to you. It is common for asset prices to begin rising when the number of persons predicting a decline reaches a critical mass, 
When the number of individuals who think an asset's price is going up hits a peak, it often begins to fall down. I agree with it. So, I replied on October 19, 2017, with the words, Yep, and I'm considering purchasing more flair today. People are feeling down. The flair community chimed in with it absolutely, but that's great news for individuals who are well-versed in market psychology, in response to my question. Funny thing is, while flair is going up, the same individuals who are yelling about how fantastic it is are asking others to sell when it's going down. Any emotional index will show this as a telltale indicator. Supporter of the idea that the value of a native asset is proportional to the value of a network's innovations and usefulness. Premium project pricing. Expensive but flawed endeavor. Yep. And therein is the caveman issue. Here, it is precisely the case. That much is true, and it is obvious to me. This is why I'm bringing it up again, public opinion has changed for Flared, quite a little. I can tell you from experience that the public's opinion on XRP is about to change. Opinion on XRP is really negative. Compared to what I've seen in recent years, it's just disastrous. In most cases, it indicates the bottom. In other words, I believe we're almost there unless there's going to be a crypto-wide exodus. For fun, I would do it. I am not predicting the price, yes. That is something I never do. However, they would be my low-key, entertaining visitors. The price has never been cheaper, but the usefulness and future possibilities for Flair have never been stronger, according to my response to a fair community. This is the closest thing I've ever purchased to a bottom for anything, I believe, and by people, I mean it was the actual bottom for Flair. Whether it was the 18th or the 19th of October, you can go ahead and check it out. Also, it was just coincidental. The truth is, I wasn't really skilled, I was just thinking, wow, sentiments are in the gutter, this is probably going to go lower. It remained at that price after I made my purchase. But it is really unusual. Okay, so maybe it did, at least for a little while. From that moment ahead, however, it was as if nothing had happened. Extremely unusual, that was probably the first time it ever happened to me. My involvement in this spans more than six years. Then it was just stupid luck. Additionally, I said that I increased my overall holdings by around 45% by purchasing additional flair this morning. And ensnared in the moment. This concludes my 45% gain in holdings. Even at its larger size, it remained a little one. Therefore, maybe I need to mention one of my tiniest. However, it has risen to the position of my third biggest. It has the potential to become my most valuable asset if it continues to run before other currencies do. I no longer have control over when things pop off. Although it is now far behind my biggest holding, XRP, it has the potential to surpass it if this item or H-bar runs first, or whatever the case may be. I wouldn't mind if it did. After that, I still believe XRP will run. Consequently, I want to sell before re-establishing XRP as my primary holding. In any case, that's my assumption. The screams and, holy cow, the hatred flares, made me buy at the bottom, however, it will be completely ineffective. A group of emotionally invested people who have no idea what they're doing have posted a lot of clown faces and laughing emojis. Everyone is acting like a helpless infant when it comes to the XRP pricing. I get the impression that they are looking for a guy for the wrong reasons. I decided to share this this morning, and here it is. The flare is skyrocketing at 8.12 AM Central Time. From what I could see, the only thing that got people to stop complaining about it on social media was an increase in the number, but the negative emotion against it in October will stick with me, much like XRP. When the XRP XRP switch is turned off, all the emotional dweebs will become quiet. My friends, I really think that. The 24-hour high for Flair is shown here. 34 cents. Additionally, at the moment, it's little over 3.2 cents. Fun times. Today is wonderful. Some individuals, of course, will never understand and will always be pessimistic. Someone on this social networking site really replied to the post I sent you, asking, are you going ballistic? 
a quarter after three months? No, plus, it's simply another instance when I came upon something similar. It's like I roll all that trash, you know? It's like a whole bullseye. Because I often worry whether people are trolling me when they write such harsh things to me, I decided to respond to him. Yes, I am, but I emailed him and said, are you kidding me? Flair has increased by 3000% since the middle of October. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's right, everyone. An increase of 300% would be equivalent to a fourfold rise, from 3.4 cents to 4x8 tenths of a penny, 300%. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's make it 3.5 cents. And a laugh emoji. That was his response to me. What the blazes is going on with this? He must be trying to get me, doesn't he? For the simple reason that it's impossible to fathom how someone could be so naive as to believe that. By this logic, he must be trolling me, correct? Well, I can't say for sure. For my part, I responded to his letter by noting that 300% flare profits would be the same as a Bitcoin price increase from its present level to over $170,000. Is percentage growth really something you're confused about, or are you, really, it, everyone? With Bitcoin hovering at 43,000, that is accurate. Approximately 170,000 is the result of a fourfold growth. It would be four times more. Flare from the bottom and October just showed us that. Not the exact money amount, 3.5 cents, but wow, that percentage has increased by hundreds of percent. Is that so hard for this moron to understand? The number of individuals who commented with that same phrase was overwhelming. Not every one of them, however. However, I have yet another one for you. In an attempt to mock me, Someone named Bilbo wrote to me and included an emoji that looks like it's laughing sideways instead of the normal horizontally aligned face. I find it hilarious that he couldn't control his laughter, so he had to get creative. Anyway, I'd be thrilled if the emoji flared up one or two pennies, even though it's 300% off the bottom. By the way, this is what XRP has in store for us, there will be more, and then people will stop complaining that XRP isn't operational. No amount of useless reasoning is going to change anything. Oh, I see. Those will go. After that, however, nobody will do anything until it reaches a new record high. Moaning about how much it adds up, regardless of how valid it is. Assume for the sake of argument that it amounts to $52. Nearly everyone will be pleased. But trolls will still be lurking, right? That's great. We can discuss when it's time. So, in my response to Bilbo, I said that the price is irrelevant and that it had increased by 300%. The idea of percentage gates is completely foreign to you. Imagine if the price of Bitcoin doubled from its present $43,000 level to somewhere around $170,000, wouldn't that be the same game? Are you really confused? Is that so? Or are you planning to troll? For the simple reason that making fun of a change of a few pennies is pointless and embarrassing. There are two instances of it, so to speak. Nevertheless, a great deal more were present. Plus, I received an email from someone called CryptoBob, who also sent some laughing emoji. It seems like some folks are enjoying themselves here. That being said, I am of the firm belief that XRP will soon follow, and its value has already increased significantly. From the bottom, it will flare up significantly, and we will have to deal with these individuals. CryptoBob gave a negative response of 21% and an emoji that looks like a sideways laughing emoji, so I wrote that Bitcoin has gone ballistic from a low of about $15,000 to a high of $43,000, even though it's still lower than its all-time high of nearly $70,000. I added a little sarcastic sideways laughing face of my own to make a point, after all, that's a threefold increase from where Bitcoin was at the bottom. In addition, you're bringing up the fact that Flutter has seen a fourfold growth, which has improved performance even more, but still hasn't reached its peak. Bitcoin prices fall below their all-time high. We should be able to enjoy the 300% profits without waiting for it to reach a new all-time high. After all, 
What about those of us who purchased it at the bottom and are now realizing these gains? We sold them, but we still got to enjoy them. I was feigning ignorance about it. Because it is the all-time high, we will laugh it off. For this reason, dollar cost averaging is important. This is why it makes perfect sense to capitalize on psychological markets and purchase when people are really nauseous. As for Crypto Bob's comment, you posted the chart slick, I was only drawing attention to it. Therefore, he thinks I'm slick. No, I won't describe him as smooth. I will inform you about it. The fact that he isn't makes no difference to the enormous 300% improvements I'm experiencing. Actually, I did say that. Your remark was completely irrelevant and unhelpful, therefore I labeled it as a troll. Well, that's pretty much it. After that, Bigby emailed me to say that, although Flair is up 300% on the quarterly chart, it's only up 72% on the monthly and still down on the annual. What am I not seeing here? Yes, I do think he's forgotten what I wrote. Yes, you're completely mistaken, what matters are percentage gains, not prices, and the market is presently spiking 300% from its low point. You are arguing a pointless issue if you are upset because Flair hasn't reached an all-time high. That would be the equivalent of my complaining loudly about how Bitcoin is going to rise for another three months, hitting a bottom of approximately $15,000, just because it is still far lower than its all-time high. Particularly for those of us who, in the middle of October, raised our Flair holdings at the bottom, we do not need new all-time highs to rejoice in big percentage profits. Flair is far lower than its all-time peak, therefore I couldn't care less. I'm up a lot, and so are a lot of other folks. It is fitting that we join the many others who are rejoicing today. It is appropriate to savor such times. Then I got a response from someone called Roni, who said, let's get one year in the green first. Lots of folks are still losing money. That is all. Let's see who's in. I am unable to rejoice. Roni insists we must first spend a year in the green before I can relish in my 300% increase. All right, Roni, I appreciate that. No way, I'm not going to celebrate right now, I said. Where on earth are these viewpoints coming from? This is totally irrational, isn't it? It's hard not to wonder whether some of the folks whose opinions I'm spotlighting here are trolling or just plain ignorant since I think most of you will agree with me that they're totally wrong and illogical. Somehow, it will be either one or the other. A user who went by the handle, bite me replied to my post, saying that the issue is that XRP hasn't performed nearly as well as other cryptocurrencies since we bought it in 2017. Unless anything drastically changes, XRP represents a huge loss of potential. To be honest, I can't say that I disagree with it. Investing is no different from any other endeavor in that it comes with an opportunity cost. But I'll answer that question here. Still fuming after missing out on last week's winning lot. Three numbers, which I now know to be the winning ones. Reason being, looking back, you might realize, wow, I should have done that before. That was the issue in 2021, at the time, nobody knew the SEC was going to launch an assault. That is the reason why XRP failed to achieve a new record high. To be honest, I think I feel really passionately about that. So now we're going to get all worked up about XRP because we had no idea the SEC was going to go after us in real life. Because of this, I just hold a wide range of crypto assets because I believe it's the right thing to do. Regarding this, nevertheless, I will not shed tears. Well, I went ahead and acquired XRP, so what the heck? So what? I have no say over it. I will not whine, because I was unaware of last week's winning lottery numbers. Because, let's be honest, it's the stupid tax, but hey, it is what it is, and I'm going to play the lotto anyhow. Also, someone said that I made 54 cents when I sold Flair, but it is completely false. The moment Flair came out. What he's referring to is the Litecoin watch, which displays the IOU. Flavor was originally priced at 4.3 cents, it might have been 6 or 7 cents at the time, I'd have to check with CoinMarketCap to be sure, but Live CoinWatch is misleading you by showing that the alternative was $2.45. It is not accurate. 
At the time, the blockchain was down. Even though it was listed on an exchange, this IOU wasn't even on a blockchain. Because Flare didn't exist, individuals were altering what they were referring to as Flare. And then they incorporate that garbage with utterly different tokenomics, which they like. Along with dynamics, which have little practical use, they include Flare's real performance, which is even worse. Flavor did, in fact, fall from its initial price of little over a year ago while it was still in the price discovery phase. While everyone was attempting to determine the value of a newly launched coin, its price fell precipitously since price discovery, incidentally, may go in the other direction. In October, it hit rock bottom. Things that people enjoy do happen. Since then, the concept of supply and demand has been on the rise. Because it is a brand new currency, and because everyone is trying to figure out how much it should be valued in the market, it had to go through that tough patch. But that is simply how coins work. The fact that it occurred doesn't indicate that Flare is flawed or that the coin is worthless, rather, it indicates that speculators have speculated about it. Yes, I do think that XRP will wake up one day and be soaring to new heights. As a result, those who were complaining will eventually learn to shut up, and our XRP will be worth much more, and maybe even more in the future. Enterprise Discovery and XRP will both reach new all-time highs, in my opinion. The timing of it, however, is beyond my control. Plus, I have no idea if that will really occur. It may go to zero if I'm mistaken. The practicality of XRP makes me doubt that's the case. It's been more than 10 years since BART first appeared. It has several purposes. Excellent for making payments. As far as cryptocurrency markets go, it boasts considerable liquidity. Coin ranking number 6 in terms of market capitalization. Yeah. This makes me feel fantastic. Yes. XRP's value is about to skyrocket. I don't see why it wouldn't. Since nothing noteworthy occurred today, we simply do not get to decide which coins burst off. I am not aware of that cause. In any case, nothing significant occurred today. Something happened in the news recently, and Flair just keeps going. Just like XRP, it goes when it goes. No, we didn't choose it. But that day will be just fantastic. There will always be those who are bitter about, oh, man. There are other coins that so and so might have had, but it's up now. And if I have some kind of supernatural ability that could tell me when it will occur. I would have just made a few purchases. Yes. Quiet down. May we, like, just enjoy ourselves? When will we be able to savor days like today? The weather is nice today. Extra assistance is now in place, and it's terrifying. Let the festivities begin. Celebrate the little wins, don't you think? Rejoice in the little successes, it's okay. That's my whole point, dude. I think this is great. Also, to everyone who predicted that Flare would continue to decline until it fell to zero, you were wrong. I was incorrect. It's live. In my opinion, this will not go to zero. If I'm mistaken, I truly don't care. I'm mistaken. But it most certainly isn't at the moment. Well, at least it's rising. Thus, we will see the outcome. This is why, however, I felt the need to emphasize it, what I'm telling you all is identical. For the time being, this is the only issue XRP is facing. It felt like all those elitists on the internet were tearing flair to shreds. Just like XRP, but they're going to be silent about it. That's the way things will play out. You shouldn't put your money where your mouth is because of anything I say, I'm not a financial advisor. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.